Good morning, good morning. It's Ona and Giblets, your energy customer service reps from Chicago. Today is Sunday, uh, September 1st, 2024. It is time for Time Out with Giblets. I had a series Sunday morning with Giblets, and then I had a lot of life things happen, so now we're rebooting the series as Time Out with Giblets because that's the first card we pulled last week. So welcome if you're new. It's a weekly oracle card. It's a point of focus during your crazy week. Something to reflect on. So last week, I hope you had some time out time to just recalibrate, come back to your space. This week is a, it's a big week, okay? The moon starts with uh, going into Virgo tonight. So today, Leo, tonight, Virgo moon. Tomorrow is the new moon in Virgo, where the sun and moon will be conjunct at 11 degrees. Virgo rules the gut area. Virgo's ruler is Mercury, which is a mental planet. So kind of taking care of your second gut, okay, your home, your second brain, your home, okay? That's, that's sort of the theme. Then the moon moves into Libra on Thursday. We end up with a Scorpio moon next Sunday. So we've got earth, air, and water this week. Something to deal with there, okay? That is sort of the idea of time out with giblets unless something changes and it probably will. So welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm going to pull a card from the Colette Baron Reed Spirits Animal Spirit deck. It's the pocket size, so it's much easier for me to shuffle. Giblets is being a really good boy this morning. We went for a super long walk. It's a gorgeous day. One, one thing I need to say is I did get up to uh, the roof for Pearl Jam last night, but it really doesn't translate very well on the video of my phone. This is the microphone I'm using and it's just wind and a little bit of lights flashing in Wrigley Field. I mean, it really wasn't anything I would put, I would publish. So I am gonna go up there again today before noon because it is Bike the Drive where they have Lakeshore Drive blocked off and a fundraiser for public transportation, a 30 mile course along the drive or bikes so you can jump in any time it's a once a year thing it's all you know kind of cool because cars can't get on the drive and there's it's a really really neat thing so I'm gonna get some of that okay you can have one of these all right and then let's pull a card let's pull a card for the week and see what's going on he's He's tired. We went for a long walk this morning. That was so much fun. Except you picked up something off the sidewalk that I had to yank out of your face, remember? The bone? The chicken bone? Yeah. I know you did. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's my buddy. All right, let's get a card for the week. Let's get a card for the week. Moth spirit, surrender now. Okay, this is moth spirit. Surrender now, it's number 39. I am gonna move the camera over to the lake and read what the moth spirit is about. I really love these cards, they're gorgeous. It's number 39. And we'll see what, what Ma Spirit has to say. All right, bud? Let me move the camera over. Because it's really, really sunny. I've got a shade down. There we go. And you know what? I'll pull it up. goodness well sort of all right 
Moth spirit. Moth spirit asks, what is guiding you right now? Are you in alignment with spirit or pursuing something or someone with so much tenacity that it has become a compulsion or addiction? Hard work and dedication and dedication are virtues. However, when moth spirit appears, it is time to consider if you've gone over the edge in a relentless pursuit. Workaholism, overeating, perfectionism, or addiction to certain or addiction to certainty or even to a person may be your current vice. That's interesting. Addiction to certainty is what is piqued my interest here. The form of your addiction does not matter so much as awareness of the consequences of persistence when moderation is needed. Now is a time for surrender and radical accept acceptance so that your drive does not cause you to flee or fight. Spirit wants you to release your need for certainty and control so that you can relax into a more balanced way of using your moth spirit energy. Banish the shoulds and the musts so that you can enjoy what is what it is you allow for what might be. So super Virgo-y kind of thing is you know, trying to always be, make things perfect, align things properly, always be very well organized is a Virgo thing. The moth spirit is telling you, relax, chill. Again, time out. All right. I love you guys. Love you guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you this week sometime. And I'm sure I'll be up on the roof in a little bit.